In the previous tutorial, I hinted at the power of the Shadow Highlights tool. And uh, I used uh, an example of a photograph I had taken in New York City that was a very, very bad photograph. Uh, well, this photograph I took at a county fair. And uh, it's not a great photograph, but it's uh, a great demonstration of uh, the Shadow Highlights capabilities. As you can see here, I took a picture of um, a little girl and she was looking straight at me. It's a little bit out of focus and that's because I was doing handheld uh, and I shouldn't have been. I should have probably used some sort of lighting with this but it was supposed to be a candid shot and she's kind of backlit uh, so that throws her face in complete shadow. So if I want to go in and see what kind of detail and I often do this, I'll uh, take pictures because digital that's the beauty of digital. You can just throw them away when you're done uh, if they're not any good, but sometimes you can get good pictures uh, that you might not have been able to get otherwise. So let's go Image, Adjustments, Shadow Highlight. And you can see by default at its 50%, suddenly we're starting to see all kinds of detail out here. And if you start playing with these settings, you can bring out an amazing amount of detail from this photograph and you can start to see this beautiful little girl's face. One of the cool things I love about this tool is you can do some really fun special effects if you take that color correction all the way down. You can make things that are highly saturated color stay that way and things that are subtle color they can uh, actually go to black and white. It's kind of a fun little technique. doesn't work with every photograph but works with several uh, that I've tried that are contrasty like that. And just feel free to play around with some of these settings. And before you know it, you have a beautiful little girl right in front of you. And the more you play with these settings, and notice how I just drag them all over the place, but I'm watching the picture the whole time because I don't really care what the settings are because I'm not going to be printing these out so I don't care whether I'm coming up with colors that are impossible to print or anything like that and I'm kinda liking what I'm seeing right there so I'm going to say okay so just to compare it with the original there is the shadow highlights version and control Z there it was the original version so it's pretty amazing what you can come up with uh, by using that shadow highlights feature and I like it better I haven't shown you how to do uh, curves curves is another one um, that you can play with I tend to like the shadow highlights the best